Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to use Condi templates with Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Photoshop Elements. Uh, the templates are universal for both programs. Um, the first thing we need to do is download our template. So we're going to go to Condi.com, and in order to download templates, we have to be logged into PartnerNet. And click on PartnerNet Login, um, and you'd enter your PartnerNet username and password. Now if you cannot remember your username and password, you can select Forgot Password. It'll ask you for your email address and when you submit it, you'll get an email back with both your username and your password to PartnerNet. Uh, if you have not signed up for PartnerNet, click on the link here that says to become a member. Click here and complete the PartnerNet application. You would complete the online application, submit it, Shortly after, you'll get an email to verify your email address, and then once the, once you verify that, your account manager will get a request for PartnerNet access, and she can at that point authorize to have your account activated. Once everything is activated and going, you put in your PartnerNet username and password and hit log in. Now you'll know you're logged in because the link that you originally clicked on will now say PartnerNet log out. Uh, if it still says log in, that means it didn't log you in properly. Go ahead and click it again and try to log in again. Now from here, there are a couple of ways we can find templates. Um, you can actually do a search for the product number or the description at the top, or you can click on templates and do a search for, again, either the, the description or the part number. Uh, we'll do a license plate. So I'm going to type in license plate and I'm going to search. And we're going to, again, you're going to find the part number that matches the actual part that you want to use the template for. For this tutorial, we'll just use the DS511W, which is a Dynasub a white aluminum license plate. Now once this downloads, um, we want to open this up. It does download a zip file. Um, so I actually have the zip file open to look at the contents. Inside there are templates for Illustrator, CorelDRAW, Photoshop, and a standard PDF template for other applications. Since we're doing Photoshop and I'm using Photoshop Elements, I'm going to double click on the Photoshop template and that opens this up. Now with this template, a couple of things I want to point out. It's masking the area in white that it's not going to print. What's on the checkerboard is actually transparent, and that's where we want our put our image. Anything we want to print, we want to put in this checkerboard pattern. On the right, I want to point out the layers. Now, the top layer is what's going to be in front on your image. Now, in this case, the template uh, I'll, will hide the checkerboard where we just see the white, but it's not going to hide the checkerboard because it's just representing transparent. Um, but if I hide the template, you'll notice all of our white masking goes away. Um, so again, this white masking is on top of the image. I'll be show you, able to show you this a little bit better once we actually bring a picture in. Um, first thing we want to do is import any pictures that we want to bring into it. And to import the pictures, we're going to hit File and Place. Um, on some versions of Photoshop, it would be Place Embedded. So I'm going to select the picture I want to bring in. And we're going to place it. All right. Once we have it here, um, we can either rotate the image around to where we want it by simply manipulating the corners. You'll notice as I move this my cursor around these spots, it's actually the cursor changes. Um, if it's two arrows, it's actually going to expand the size. And if you notice, if you pull it out a little bit farther, we get the arrows pointing in a circular pattern, which is the rotation for the design. Now I'm going to stretch this out big enough to fit into my template. And once I have it in place, I want to click on the check. If I click the circle, it's going to cancel and it's going to remove the picture from our template. All right, once we have the our image placed, we can add text if we'd like, or we can bring in more pictures and on top of it. But again, I want to show you this. Since we've put this on our image layer, I can hide the image and go back to the mask, 
or I can hide the mask and go back to the image. And again, whichever layer is on top is the layer that you're going to see closest to the front. So we want to make sure our masking layer is actually on the top of the list here. Now once we have everything ready to go, you're actually ready to print your image. And from here you would just select File and Print. You're going to select your printer, paper size, make sure all your color management and everything is set up properly, and print. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have here at Condi Systems, please give me a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for the first available tech, or you can send an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.